What's going on Port fans? Welcome back to another video on my channel and today we're going to be counting down the top 10 wins of the past decade for Port Adelaide. What a better way to go through it and celebrate the decade itself with um, 10 of the best wins that have happened for the club um, over the past 10 years from 2010 to 2019. Obviously it hasn't been the greatest of uh, decades for the club in terms of success but there have been some fantastic wins and some fantastic moments across the last decade so without further ado let's get straight into it and count down the top 10 wins for Port Adelaide for the decade. Let's get straight into it there's no rules or regulations or anything like that with this countdown this is my top 10 and if you guys have got a top 10 or you disagree with this top 10 that's coming up let me know in the comments below and, and see exactly what games I've missed or what games that stood out for you but let's get straight into it with number 10 it's going to go straight into 2019, round one against Melbourne. Port Adelaide um, went to the MCG with no expectations with a whole bunch of new kids, uh, fresh talent, and we pulled it off. We got a, a fantastic win, a, an unexpected win against a team um, who were expected to be very much uh, contenders for 2019, obviously with the story that happened with Melbourne that didn't quite pan out that way, but... You know, to go to the MCG, I was there. It was a fantastic game, and I reckon it will stand out as one of the better wins under Ken Hinckley's tenor, but also in this past decade, it was one that was certainly unexpected. It's only one game out of 22 games, but what a way to start the season for Port Adelaide. Under immense pressure, Ken Hinckley and his men, and they have delivered. Melbourne game all off. Number nine is Port Adelaide versus North Melbourne in 2012. Now, this was in the Primus era. The Port Adelaide Football Club was struggling. We only had one win for the year uh, before going into round eight um, against North Melbourne. Um, we were struggling. We are having another poor season. We needed a bit of a spark. And it was none other than Paul Stewart who got the job done. It was one of the better comebacks you'll ever see, and we were 32 points down late in the last quarter, 10 minutes to go. Jay Schultz ended up kicking seven goals, and it was just one of those games that defined, you know, what, what the season could have been, or, you know, with the talent that we had, we just never gave up, and surely it was only one game that stood out from the rest in a poor season, but it was a great game to witness. Round eight, uh, no, no, sorry, number eight, round 15, 2015, Port Adelaide versus Collingwood. Now, this was in another season where Port Adelaide exactly weren't going to plan. We were poor. We were only, I think, five wins and eight losses. And coming into the game, unfortunately, Phil Walsh lost his life. So this was a game that was dedicated to Phil. And with all the players that have worked with him over the, you know, the past years and uh, Ken Hinckley being pretty close with him, who was obviously an assistant coach for us, it was a tough game to go into. And to just give you a bit of the background, it was just one of those games where we came out firing, Collingwood caught up, the rain came, and it was just a nail-biter of a finish. Collingwood, can they roll the dice? What can Langdon do? The clock's going to beat them, I think. Who takes the mark? Oh, Elliot Nilly, no mark. Port win. What a night. What a win. Their season is still alive. Number seven is Port Adelaide versus Fremantle in the 2014 semi-final. Another comeback game where we were 20, oh no, 32 points, I think we were down uh, at half time. We came out, we kicked uh, four goals by Robbie Gray in one quarter. We ended up leading going into three quarter time and it was just a game that typified that that moment, that era, uh, the 2013, 2014 seasons with Ken Hinckley, the fresh freshness of a new coach and this is the will to never give up and our game style, we were just, we were next level from the rest and our resilience stood out against our Fremantle that game, and it was just moments of pure brilliance, especially over there at Subiaco. 35 out, 45 angle, he chips, and he goals! Schultz has kicked the goal and shocked the crowd, and it is dead quiet. Number six is another comeback. This one was pretty early on in the Ken Hinckley era. It was round five, 2013, Anzac round. It was, and 26,000 people came to witness Port Adelaide go 5-0 at that stage. We 
We're 41 points down late in the third quarter. We somehow clawed it back. And what we witnessed in Kane Corn's 250th game was nothing more than a bloody miracle. It, what a game of football it was to witness. Um, and it just personified what was then uh, the never give up attitude. He hits the deck. Travis Boat, the captain, through yeah. traffic for the first time tonight. Port Adelaide in front. Number five was Port Adelaide versus St Kilda. This is a 2017 season. Our season, um, to, well, our top four chances at that stage were on the line. We were playing St Kilda. We needed a win. It was raining. It was Everything looked gloomy and dark and miserable. And St Kilda got out to a 10-point lead late in the last quarter with about two minutes to go. We didn't look like winning. Fans were storming out of the ground. And a moment from, Rob, uh, from Aaron Young to then build up to what was the greatest set play with Paddy Ryder to Robbie Gray. I've never seen anything better in my life. And what a game it was. They have to just watch and see how it plays out. Ryder over the back in oh. the path of Robbie Gray. He's a superstar for the power. He goes long. Has it got the legs? <laughs> yes! Robbie Gray's kicked a big goal. And the power on the cusp of Number four, Port Adelaide versus Collingwood, 2013, the elimination final, our first final in six years since the 2007 grand final. We came into it as underdogs. Collingwood came in expecting to go travel away the next week. The moment was there, and Port Adelaide played a game of football that I think will go down as one of the best games Port fans have ever seen, and one of the best finals We've played under that amount of pressure with the young side travelling over in Ken Hinckley's first year to beat Collingwood on their home deck in a final. That is one of the biggest upsets in finals history. And one of the best things I think we've seen in a long time, let alone in this decade. Nathan Buckley will wonder what could have been. Number three, Showdown 35, 2013 once again. A year of comebacks, a year of um, just hard work, never give up attitude. This was one of the best showdowns you'll ever witness. The Crows weren't going to make finals. They kept coming all day. It was a topsy-turvy affair. And they ended up being 20 points up. And then, at the time, everyone's favourite, Chad Wingard, turned it on and brought home the chocolates in the final ever showdown at Amy Stadium. Just outside the 50, gathered by Cassisi. It's all over. Pittard's long kick has gone out of bounds on the full, and what a historic victory. How about that, Bruce? What a performance. Number two, again, it's a showdown. It's showdown 44. It was in 2018, and we know what happened. It was one of the best games uh, of that year. It's probably one of the best showdowns you'll ever see at the Adelaide Oval. To be 28 points down at halftime to then lead at 18 points for then the Crows to get in front and then for next minute for Stevie Motlob to put through a goal that sent the stadium into just a frenzy. It was crazy to be a part of and it's going to be going down as one of the best games in both clubs' history because they both were just fantastic on the day. Oh. Number one, it has to be the 2014 elimination final against Richmond in the prison bar Guernsey. 50,000 people decked out at the Adelaide Oval. Richmond came off nine wins straight, came in as the underdogs against a Port team that were favourable, playing some good footy, and we tore them a new one. It was a sensational game to watch. Um, one of the best things about it was we were wearing the prison bar Guernsey, and as Dennis Kameni said, it's the best uniform in Australian um, sporting history. It's one of the. It's. It was just a day for Port Adelaide, a Sunday afternoon at the Adelaide Oval, fifty thousand Port faithful. It's there, and we shut down Richmond in the first ten minutes of the game, and it's just an enjoyable day and an enjoyable win. And needs away, everything falling into place. Need the beneficiary running down towards the 50. Lines up, vacant goal square. How about this? 
This is breathtaking. Well, that's it, Port fans. That wraps up my top 10 wins of the decade. Let me know in the comments below if I left any out um, or any that you disagree with, which think you think should be in there. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new for plenty more Port Adelaide content coming your way over the off-season. We'll be counting down more of this uh, decade in the coming weeks as well as the draft that's coming up as well. My name is Anthony, and as always, come a pair.